Yeah, I'm cooking up with this today in the kitchen. Hopefully it comes out dope. Bolo! Before we get started, if you guys need any equipment for your studio, make sure you guys go ahead and click my link in the description and head over to Zounds.com. Zounds has a whole bunch of stuff on the site and they have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check. Meaning all you have to do is order it, they'll ship it to you and you can make monthly payments. All you have to do is add a credit or debit card up to the account and you can go ahead and get your stuff just like that. So if you guys need some equipment, make sure you guys go ahead and click my link in the description and head over to zounds.com and get you some equipment today. Also, you guys know I rock with analog cases because they make the best cases to protect your gear and they make the most professional stands to protect your gear as well. And they just released a new travel backpack called the Track Pack. The Track Pack Travel Backpack. Wonder if you can say that three times in a row. But this is the ultimate musician's backpack to travel with. This is a professional musician's backpack. You can put your MPC Live 2 in there. You can put your Machine Plus, your Roland SP404. You can add in your MIDI controllers as well. And you even have a compartment to add your laptop in there too. And everything stays protected because this bag is heavily insulated with nothing but protection. And to make things even better, they have a whole bunch of compartments where you can put your cords, your keys, your cell phones, hell, the kitchen sink if you want to put that in there too. So if you're a professional musician that is on the go, make sure you guys go ahead and check out this Track Pack Traveler's Backpack. I'm telling you right now, you will not be disappointed. Go ahead and click my link in the description to analog cases and save 10% today. All right, so yeah, I'm actually going to be making my second beat with this SP404 Mark II. Uh, I made another beat the other day. Um, it came out pretty dope. I actually got it on my YouTube shorts. You guys can check that out if you want to. I'm getting better at this. I'm actually getting better. So I felt comfortable with coming on camera and making a beat with this. I don't know what I'm going to make today, but I'm going to try to trap it out on here. It's a lot of hip hop and other stuff that is being made with this. But I'm going to try to, you know, add a few little trap elements uh, on here today. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to make something really dope and if you guys can show me anything or you know give me some pointers in the comment section please do because i'm still learning this but i'm gonna get better let's make something dope and uh you know hopefully it comes out good all right so let's go ahead and get started hopefully i can get through this <laughs> without no mishaps and please if you guys know anything that you can share with me please let me know but i'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible so the first thing I need to do is I need to select a project, which this project is empty. Uh, the second project is actually the first one I completed. And so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to select that project. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I got some uh, loops and stuff saved on my SD card. So I'm going to hit shift pad 14 so we can import from the SD card. Uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now we're going to import a sample. So we're going to go right here and hit sample. We're going to go to loops, and then we're going to find some loops. I'm going to try uh, Ice Cream Got Beats. Let's try his newest folder right here. Let's see what he got. It's kind of, that's nice. I don't know. Let's just do that one. Let's do the faster one right there. So we got to press the pad to save it too. We're going to save it on that pad right there. We're going to press enter. And then with his loops with uh, Ice Cream Got Beats, he, he actually has the whole loop plan and then he has the breakdown of all the sounds. So we're going to have to cut this down in a second. Hopefully I can do this all in, you know, without taking forever to do this because I'm gonna try to remember everything I learned so far all right it's detecting the BPM okay I think we got it okay so let's exit out of that it kind of got the BPM a little bit so now what we got to do is uh we're gonna go to start and end point right here right so we're gonna go to start we're gonna zoom in a little bit and let's kind of go through here and make sure that we're right here on this starting point and then the ending point we need to uh we need to figure out this ending point right here. I think I got it. All right, so 
Got a relative starting ending point right there. Um, so I think from here, I press menu and I truncate this. So I'm gonna truncate it and it's gonna cut everything else out and it has everything. Let's make sure it has everything in here. All right, seems pretty cool. I think we might be all right. Now we need to chop this. Okay, so we're gonna hit shift and we're gonna hit chop. And we're gonna chop all this up. But I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of small chops. I'm gonna kind of space things out a little bit. So, you know, I won't be using everything on here. So let's go ahead and do this. So let's chop it up. All right, so I got those chops in there. Um, it was six chops, which probably if I would've did more, it'd have been like 12 chops. Um, so let's go ahead and I gotta hit menu and I gotta assign these chops to a pad. And okay, assign them to a pad. And that has the whole loop on it. I think I could put it on that one. So let's go ahead and assign them all to a pad. And then do that one, that one. That one and that one, okay? So I think I did that right. If not, y'all let me know. All right, so got that done. And then now I got my chops. And the chops are not playing through because there is a gate on here. I guess, you know, with the gate being on, the chop won't play all the way through. But when I'm making my beats, I kind of don't want that gate on there. So if I want to do like these, And sometimes I wanted to play through, but I, I kind of like it to where it's like it doesn't have a gate, so it kind of just stops right there. So I'm going to leave that right there. Now, I think the next thing I have to do is I have to make this a, uh, a mute group so they won't be playing two at a time. So two of these won't play at the same time. So I guess I got to hit shift, make a mute group, I believe. Yeah, pad eight. And I guess I got to do all of these in mute group A. All right. So all of these are in the mute group. And I can exit that. So now when I play one and I play it, it automatically cuts it off. So definitely got to do a mute group. All right. So I got those in there. Um, I know the BPM is uh, 163. So now I'm going to record these parts in here. So let me find out what I want to do. So we'll, yeah, we'll add those parts in there and then we'll, and we'll add that in there too. And that's, and that, that chop is a little off. Chop is just a little off. Let me uh, see if I can uh, change that chop just a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna add these first chops in here. So let's go ahead and add that. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, pattern select. We're gonna record this in here. We're gonna add this in here, but we need to uh, hit this. Change this BPM to 163, I believe. Can we do Can we do that? There's like a way we can, okay, 168, 4.8. How can we get this to 163? Okay, how how we do this? 
It's not letting me do 163. Once it gets to 160, it doesn't let me go no further. Dang, that's kind of crazy. It's not a way I could just put the number in here somehow? Nope. I don't know. It don't let me do 163. That's crazy. I do 162.9, I guess. I don't know why it doesn't do that. That's crazy. So let's go ahead and turn this link to eight bars. And I like to do things in double time. And let me do the strength right here. I'm going to do it around about 88. I don't want to have it like too far on. So I guess now I got to press record. And hit record. And I want to put it right now. I don't. I want to do a rehearsal mode. All right, so I think I'm good. It's crazy. Alright, so I got that in there. Okay, cool. I guess I had to go make it go a little bit faster or whatever. So I got that in there. So now what I want to do, I'm gonna I wanna add some drums to this real quick. So I gotta go into shift. I'm out of pattern and everything. Okay, cool. Hit shift, hit import, uh, go right here, go to sample, go to my drum kits. I'm gonna use my 2023 kit. Mm-hmm. Use my 2023. Let's add some hi hats. Let's add that right. Let's do it down here. Let's do a 13. Actually, let's do 12. Let's do 12. Let's add a hi-hat right there. Um, and then we're going to add a snare. I actually like that one. This might be the... I actually like that one too. Let's hit that one. And then let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add a kick in here. I actually like that one. Let's add that one in there on 14. Okay, so we got that in there, all right? All right, so we got that in there. We're gonna go back to uh, our project select. Now, I know a lot of y'all know I can do the roll, the hi-hat rolls where I can just hold it down, but I'm gonna go ahead and just manually do it because I'm not that efficient yet. So I'm gonna try to do this that way. So let's go ahead and hit record on here. Okay, everything's good. That's hard. 
So that sounds pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is, I usually would do like one sound and then kind of like, you know, and just add and keep adding from there. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna copy this sequence. Uh, I'm gonna copy sequence one and take it to sequence two. And I'm gonna add the bass line in here real quick. So I gotta, uh, I guess, exit out of this. Go to shift, import, um, hit that, sample. Let's go to uh, drum kits. And I'm gonna add a bass in here. Let's see, let's go to, let's go to my, um, my Bolo 2020 kit and let's go to 808s and let's use this legendary bass, this classic bass. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. So I'm going to use that on 15. And we're going to exit out of that. Sounds good. Now, I do want to take the gate off of that one. So I'm going to hit shift gate. I, I guess it's... Oh, I got to exit out of that first. So hit gate. Ooh, that thing sounds good. All right, so now we're going to go back to pattern. I'm in rehearsal mode now, okay. Now, I got that in there. I need to go to chromatic mode. So I need to go and press chromatic. So now let's go ahead and let's copy this. Uh, okay, um, so let's copy. Let's take, uh, let's copy, let's copy two. Let's move that to three. And we're gonna hit, uh, yeah, enter. Okay, cool. So we got that in there. And then here's the new pattern. All right, so cool. So now what we gotta do is we gotta change that sample in there, which uh, <laughs> your boy might be a little stumped on this one. So we're gonna hit record. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be this one. Eight bars, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I wanna. I need to erase this one right here. Okay. So I think I can just record over that. So let's see. We're going to find out. So I can't do that. All right, how am I gonna do this? Okay, um, so I'm probably gonna have to erase those patterns. So let's record on here. Okay. So I think I'm gonna have to erase everything on here. Okay. 
let me try this now. So let's see if we can put this on here. All right, so that was a little test right there. Okay, and uh, now let's add like a little intro part in here. Okay, and I wanna add. I'm gonna add that in there, okay. All right, so now that we got these patterns in here, they sound okay, everything seems pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to kind of sequence this a little bit. So I have four patterns. I usually like to work with six, but I got four uh, because this is really only like my second real beat. And I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this process because uh, <laughs> it's wrecking my brain, but I got through it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some other you know ways we could have did this, but you know that's for you guys to help me out in the comment section. So I know that I can press hold and it says, please select channel one through 16. I'm gonna press, I guess that. And then now I can go ahead and put this in order. So the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one on here four first, then I'm gonna put two, then three, then go back to one. And then I'm gonna go back to three, two, two, and then that should be good for right now. <laughs> that should be good. And I think to play it, I just got to press uh, the sub pad right here. So let's go ahead and press that. too bad not too bad well as you guys can see the sp404 can be trapped out and uh yeah made my second beat on it it was pretty cool i'm pretty sure there's some things i can learn on here from you guys especially in the comment section you guys can help me out on certain things that i did right or wrong and man hey i did it i did it so if you guys enjoy this type of content, please let me know. If you guys want me to do another video on the SP404, please let me know. And uh, I hope you guys learned something like I learned something today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I always say, peace out.